cost-cutting triggers early job losses across Auckland Council. Why the dad of a toddler found dead in a pond once the case reopened. And Harry Styles is in town, but don't forget the all-important form you'll need to fill out before heading along. And to Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Job losses have been confirmed as Auckland Council groups look to prune services to fill its near $300 million budget hole. Chief Executive Jim Stabick, who oversees more than 7,000 staff, confirms redundancies are looming. At least 20 positions are on the chopping block at Eki Panuku, the council's property development arm. Our newsroom understands staff at Tataki Auckland Unlimited have also been briefed on structural changes. The father of a toddler found dead in a gore oxidation pond four years ago once the case reopened as a murder investigation. Paul Jones was speaking after the sentencing of the Gore District Council yesterday in relation to the death of Lockie Jones on January 29, 2019. Jones says there had been two substandard police investigations and he could not move on until he found out the truth. Police originally concluded Lockie's death was an accident, but in March 2020, WorkSafe charged the council on the grounds the fencing around the ponds was inadequate. A bumpy February at the Tills, much thanks to the weather. Worldline's latest figures show consumer spending spiked before Cyclone Gabrielle struck, then plummeted during and immediately after. Overall, spending through core retail merchants, excluding hospitality, reached $2.8 billion for the month, up 7.7% on last year. Chief Sales Officer Bruce Profit says it was also up nearly 18% on February 2019, which was pre-COVID. We do feel that slightly below where inflation sits in that same period though, so not really seeing a lot of growth right now. Auckland Transport warns there could be delays in the city tonight around the Harry Styles concert. It. Around 40,000 fans are expected at Mount Smart Stadium with free transport available for all ticket holders. AT says the gates open at 5pm so there will be a lot of scheduled services available for people to travel on. And if you're heading to the show, make sure you filled out your census beforehand. Today is census day and people in most parts of the country are required to complete it by tonight. Everyone staying overnight in New Zealand today is required to complete the form. The collection period has been extended though for cyclone affected areas. So far, more than 1 million people have completed their forms. StatsNZ says it's a legal requirement to complete it and the data is important. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te da. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.